Lord, speak to us today. Lord Jesus, let your anointing flow in this place. Lift up the heavy hearts today, those that have fallen, Lord. I pray, God, that your hand would extend down to pick them up, to bless them, Lord, to give them the help that they need today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. When I fall, I shall. I shall arise. Would you turn to somebody this morning and would you tell them that statement? When I fall, I shall. I shall arise. Praise God. You can be seated this morning. Praise God. Rejoice not against me, O oh, my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. I love that scripture. I've said it many times. But today, I believe the statement of this message goes past the advertisement of our generation that says, Help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. Have you heard that before? Praise God. It's a popular statement of advertising, but this morning, I believe it's the cry of many people in this city, in this world, that have fallen into a low place, so to speak. And in spite of their own personal efforts trying to get back up, amen, there is a hopelessness that's there. Many that maybe have fallen from, from the air and their parachute, amen, hasn't worked correctly. Amen. There is hope in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Praise God. Those that are destined for a destructive impact. Broken dreams, tattered lives, broken pieces, and maybe a broken heart today. Can I tell you, you're in the right place today. Amen. God wants to help you. He wants to pick you up. Just a few weeks ago, a 16-year-old girl from Texas by the name of Mackenzie Wethington she traveled to Oklahoma with her dad with a birthday wish. Her 16th birthday wish was to go skydiving. So her father took her. They first of all attended a skydiving training session to prepare for the jump at the Air Sports Center in Chickasha, Oklahoma, which is, by the way, about 20 miles from where I was born. But her father, Joe jumped first and landed successfully. But then she watched, or he watched in horror as Mackenzie plunged 3,500 feet before crashing to the ground, falling a two-thirds of a mile descent with a faulty parachute that did not open properly. She had a broken pelvis, a broken lumbar spine, broken shoulder blades, broken ribs, a broken tooth, and a damaged liver and other injuries that she sustained during that fall. Amazing story that she survived. A 3,500 foot fall. It's mind boggling. Even the doctor himself said, I have no idea how Mackenzie survived that fall. But she's making it through and it's my understanding that this week she was to be released from ICU. Amazing story. You talk about a fall. 3,500 feet from the sky. It reminded me of the scripture, Psalms 145 and 14, that says that the Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. My friend, it doesn't matter how far you have fallen in life. Amen. His hands are still reaching for you. I don't care what you brought into this service today or how far down you are. God is here to pick you up and give you the hope that you need through His name. Praise God. Praise God. It doesn't matter how far that you fall in your life. The love of Jesus is still reaching for you. He's still calling your name even in this service as I preach to your heart and your soul today. There's a scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and 3 that speaks of a fallen tree. Everybody say a fallen tree. That Solomon spoke about your life today. I want you to think about this scripture and my thoughts today. Maybe this is your life and what you're going through. The scripture simply says, and if the tree fall towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. In other words, it's not getting up by itself. In other words, it's not going anywhere by itself. Where the tree falls in the forest or in your yard, that's where it lies. Whether large or small, that tree 
as it falls to the ground, it's not going to get back up on its own accord. Whether it was tree disease or termites, whether it was a storm, whether it was the wind that was blowing, the tree that falls to the ground, it's not getting back up. And so there the tree lies. It, it decomposes. It, it rots, never to stand vertically again. It's now in a horizontal position. And in regards to your life this morning, I want to tell you that's no way to live. That's not the end of your story. Amen? I want to tell you this morning that God will reach down. I don't care how big the tree is or how bad the fall is. God is able to reach down and to pick you back up and to give you the hope that He can give you through His name. Amen? Praise God. Don't accept the lower state that you're living in. Don't accept living on the ground, so to speak. The lower level of living, there's a higher place. Amen? I don't care if you're weak this morning. If you don't have any strength to get back up, amen, I want to encourage you this morning that God is still reaching for you. Amen? In the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. Only to be removed by those that would cut it up for firewood or lumber. I don't know about you this morning, but I don't want to end up as firewood. Amen. I want to be able to stand back up with the help of the Lord and to have the hope that I have through Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to remind somebody in this service today, there is a difference maker in your life. His name is Jesus. Oh, how He loves you and me. Remember the old song, He brought me out of the miry clay. He set my foot on the rock to stay. He put a song in my heart to stay, a song of praise. Hallelujah! Does anybody believe that old song today? He can bring you out of the miry clay. He can put you on the rock today. Hallelujah! Praise God. You're not a tree this morning that's fallen and lies helpless and cries out, I've fallen and I can't get back up. No, my friend, you are a living, breathing soul that God has created with His own hands. Overwhelmed, yes, but not hopeless. On the ground, just maybe this morning, amen. I want to tell you, your parachute may have malfunctioned, but God's hand is still reaching for you. God's going to help you. Hallelujah. Praise God. No doubt there are serious injuries to your life and to your soul. Severe pain of the past. But I want to tell you this morning that it's not over. You may be fallen. It may feel like you're lying on the ground, but you're not out for the count. As long as Jesus is in the equation, I want to tell you this morning there is hope through His name. Psalms 37 and 24, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Nobody is perfect in this house. Turn to somebody this morning and tell them you're not perfect. Whether you believe it or not, whether you don't miss a service, a prayer meeting, or reading your Bible every day, nobody is perfect in the house of the Lord today. Praise God. When the father of 16-year-old Mackenzie Wethington reached his daughter, she lay crumpled on the ground, but he said she was crying out, Dad, would you help me? She arched her back, and she asked her father to rub her back. How much more this morning does our Heavenly Father care for His children that have fallen, that cannot get back up on their own two feet? God offers more than any earthly father of this world. Matthew 7 and 11, How much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask Him? What a reassurance this morning. He's pulling for you. He's reaching for you. He's wanting you to get back up. But I want to tell you this morning, the enemy on the other hand, he's preparing a party in hell for you. It includes black balloons, black streamers, and a cake of bitterness and tears. 
He's watching your descent, and He is hoping that you won't get up on a Sunday morning at the Life Center. He's anxiously watching and awaiting, hoping that you will stay down in the miry clay. But I want to tell you this morning, if somebody will have a made-up mind, I'm not staying on the ground. I'm getting back up. I've fallen. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He desires to have a victory dance around your spiritual grave today. He desires to shout it out across the world and across hell today. He's fallen and he can't get up. Amen. There is a party, I want to say it again, that has prepared, has been prepared with your name on it. And it's a party that I don't want you to make. Amen. Because there's victory in the house today. For whosoever will that will stand up and say, you know what? On the ground is not where I belong. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to find me a higher place in God. Rejoice not. Cancel the party, devil. There's a celebration in heaven today over one soul that will repent and be baptized in the wonderful name of the Lord. Rejoice not against me. Praise God. I'm going to get back up. That's right. I'm going to arise. It's not going to keep me down. It'll make you want to jump up and start running in church. Amen. I love it this morning. Arise. Somebody needs to get up. Somebody needs to lift their hands this morning and say, I want a new life. I want an abundant life. I want a better way to live. He has overcome through the cross, through the blood of Jesus. Why not accept your victory today and not your defeat? Praise God. Can somebody praise Him this morning? Hallelujah. Get back up. Get back up. When I fall, I shall arise. When I'm knocked down, I'm getting back up. Devil, I'm not staying down. Rejoice not. Cancel the party. I'm going to live a life of abundance. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Anybody feel like getting back up this morning? Praise God. You might as well get back up. Matthew 7, 24, the wise man and the foolish man. They live by different building codes. Matthew 7, 24, Therefore whatsoever or whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock that's the word of god and every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended. Same weather pattern. The rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. I've lived in four different states, serving in different places of ministry. It all started for me in Oklahoma. I'll tell you right now, the wind blows in Oklahoma. The tornadoes come. But I've lived quite a few years in California. I've lived in Missouri and now in Florida. Can I tell you that in every state, it's different, but the rain descends the wind blows. The floods, they, they do come. It doesn't matter where I have lived. There's a certain weather pattern that's going to come against my house. It's the same way in living for God. It doesn't matter where you live. Amen. I want to tell you that the weather patterns, they don't change. But one thing that cannot change is I want to stand upon the rock Christ Jesus. So that when the wind blows and the rain falls and the floods come, hallelujah, I'm going to stand the test of time. Get on the rock this morning. Stand strong on His Word. Be wise and follow the words that He's left us 
and the Word of God. It's the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. I stand upon the Word of God. It's the B-I-B-L-E. Bible stands for basic instruction before leaving earth. Take that. Chew on that just a little bit. This is our guidebook. This is the blueprints. Get back on the rock. Get off of the sand. You're going to fall and it's going to be a great fall if you do not. Hallelujah. Get on the rock this morning. Hallelujah. Let's thank Him for that rock that we have this morning. Hallelujah. Rejoice not against me. Oh, my enemy. When I fall, I shall, I shall, I shall arise. Hallelujah. Build your life on the rock, my friend. It will endure every weather pattern of life. The rain, the floods, it doesn't matter. The wind, whatever beats on the house, it can and will be overcome. But it starts with a good foundation. Mr. Joe Wethington on January the 28th stated that his daughter that had jumped out of the plane, she jumped out of the plane, he said, but she fell into God's hands. I love that this morning. He exclaimed, she's a miracle. She's a miracle child. Can I say this morning that if you have fallen, that there is a miracle that God wants to give you this morning? I don't care what the enemy has brought against you today. Would you hear the sound of the preacher today? Amen. God wants to pick you up. You may have jumped head first into a multitude of problems. You may have brought a lot of baggage into this place. But it's time to lay it down at this altar and say, God, I may have fallen. I may have weights in my life. But there's hope today in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. The Lord upholdeth all. That fall, he's not a respecter of persons today. It doesn't matter what race, religion, or creed you brought into this place. Amen. You are a creation of God that He created in His own image. He wants to pick you back up. He wants to place you upon the rock. There's a better life for you. When I fall, I shall arise. Hallelujah. Church, if He he notices the fall of a sparrow if he notices the fall of a 16 year old Texas girl I want to tell you this morning he knows the way that you take he knows how far you have fallen he knows if you're at the bottom of the barrel so to speak where you can't even see the bottom I'm preaching about hope today it's not over my friend It's not finished, my friend. Hallelujah. He's here this morning. He's reaching for those that have endured sickness and and problems and, and the weights of life. He's here this morning for somebody that has a broken heart. Through the brokenness of your life, though you have fallen, rejoice not. Enemy, I'm going to get back up. I'm going to arise. I'm preaching to somebody here today. I don't care the state of life that you're in. It's not too late to get back up and to say, I hear you, preacher, today. I've heard the word of the Lord that you have read. Amen. And it's time to get back up. Praise God. Let's stand this morning. Let's arise together. Hallelujah. God is reaching for somebody. Don't tune him out. Amen. We're almost finished with this service, but God's not finished with your heart just yet. This is the most important part. Amen. In the fallen state that you're in, it's your decision to either stay in the same place in that lower level of living or to have a made up mind this morning. I'm more than a conqueror. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Hallelujah. When I fall, what's your response today? You're either going to stay in the same place or you're going to get back up. There's a better life for you. I want to keep saying it. There's an abundant life for you. There is a new life for you. It involves the new birth. 
except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You want to reach a higher level this morning, it starts by simply coming to this altar this morning and saying, I'm sick and tired of staying on the ground. I'm getting back up. I'm going to arise. That's it. That's it. God's reaching for more today. Sick and tired of the same old thing. Sick and tired of the garbage around you. Get up. I've fallen for the last time. I'm going to arise. I'm going to find a place. Hallelujah. He's reaching for you today. Jesus loves you today. What you're feeling here today is the love of the Lord. Of the Savior that died on the cross for your sins. That's what you're feeling today. If you would just lift your hands with me today and say, God, I need your help. That's all right. By lifting your hands, you simply say, Lord, I surrender to you. Lord, I I can't carry this any longer. Lord, I've fallen so many times. The pain, the heartache, God, the, the horror of it all. Jesus, I'm so sick of my past and my life. I'm getting up this morning. I shall arise. Just worship the Lord with us this morning. If you're new to this church, just lift your hands and just say, Lord, I need you in my life. I love you, Jesus. Lord, I need you more than anything, Lord. I'm going to arise this morning. I'm going to get back up, Jesus. That's it. Just pour your heart out to the Lord. Just name the problems. Just name the sins of the past. Say, God, I'm starting over. Oh, I've fallen, Lord. He's reaching for you. I'm telling you, if you'll just lift your hands, God will touch you. God will deliver you. God will encourage you. And God will save your soul from a devil's hell. When I fall, I shall. I shall arise. Let's sing it this morning. Let's worship Him, church. Let's pray for those at the altar today, church. In the peace I've come to know. Though my heart and flesh 